This is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Psalm 118, 24. Welcome to the More Than Conquerors Life Center Sunday School with Sister Tracy. The lesson title, Jesus Walks on Water. The scripture, John chapter 6, verses 15 through 21. The lesson aim is to show that Jesus, as the divine Son of God, has power over the elements in nature. The time, A.D. 29, the place, Capernaum. When Jesus therefore perceived that they would come and take him by force to make him a king, he departed again into a mountain himself alone. And when even was to now come, his disciples went down unto the sea and entered into a ship and went over the sea toward Capernaum. And it was now dark, and Jesus was not come to them. And the sea arose by reason of a great wind that blew. So when they had rowed about five and twenty or thirty furlongs, they see Jesus walking on the sea and drawing nigh unto the ship, and they were afraid. But he saith unto them, It is I, be not afraid. Then they willingly received him into the ship, and immediately the ship was at the land whither they went. The title of this lesson is Jesus Walks on Water. Can you walk on water? <laughs> Do you believe that Jesus did? As believers, we should accept. The entire message to be true or the entire word of God to be true. Now this lesson begins with that title by saying that God is omnipotent or he has unlimited power or you can say that God can do anything. After all, he has the power over all elements of nature like the earth, water, wind, fire, thunder, ice, etc. Simply because he created all things. So in the previous lesson leading up to this present lesson, Jesus recruited his followers or disciples, starting with uh, Andrew and his brother Simon Peter, another set of brothers James and John, and each one of them were fishermen on the Sea of Galilee. Then Jesus recruited Philip and Nathaniel. Along the way, uh, God turns water into wine. He heals Simon Peter's mother-in-law. Jesus teaches on life issues to the people. Things like loving your enemies. He spoke on retaliation anger, lust, divorce, worrying, uh, giving to the needy, and criticizing others. So during his journey, he also raised a widow's son from the dead, and he calmed a storm and walked on water. So the people thought he would be a political military leader uh, that was prophesied to come, and they desired to make him king and they thought he, they would use all of their large numbers of people to force him to accept the kingship. However, Jesus had another purpose. So he went up into the mountains and he sent the disciples ahead to Bethsaida across the Sea of Galilee. And as they waited, a huge storm arose. It was a life-threatening situation. And as they stood in fear uh, during this storm, they suddenly saw Jesus walking on water. And they became very afraid, for they thought he was a ghost. <laughs> uh, because they hadn't expected for him to come or arrive in the midst of their frantic situation. However, he did. And he calmed their fears by saying, It is I. Be not afraid. So keep in mind, always keep in mind, that the Lord's timing is always perfect. He may not come when you want him to, but he's always right on time. 
Remember this whenever you are waiting on God. Here are some vocabulary terms. Furlong, meaning an eighth of a mile or 220 yards. Capernaum, an ancient site in Israel on the Sea of Galilee. Nigh, almost, vast, of very great extent or quantity, or immense. Here are some links for your enjoyment. The biblical timeline, and we have uh, the song, Jesus and His Miracles. Thank you so much for joining the More Than Conquerors Sunday School. Please contact me if you would like to share some kids' corner information to post in the video for next week. Thank you and God bless you. India, Leroy, Victoria, Skylar, Jalen, Nevea, CJ, Timothy, Jermaine, Grant, Zaniah, Faith, Noel, Erica, Taylor, Moya, DeMarco, Tyler, Grace, and our collegiate corner. Blessings unto each of your endeavors, Selena, India, and Gabby. God bless.